Hey guys, I'm Teresa Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that a lot of you guys have requested to see. I did this video a few months ago and it was like a light slaying 15 minutes and pretty much everyone wanted to see an updated version of it. Also that video is kind of like a little bit of a hot mess so I definitely wanted to redo it and make it a little bit better for you guys. So yeah, this is what I came up with. This really only took me about like 15 to 20 minutes or so which like for me, if you guys see my real time gratitude with me, this is a really big accomplishment like I'm really moving forward in the world having it only be like 15 to 20 minutes if you guys also saw my last um, real time guide with me you guys know that I use different lashes in those videos and I use the kiss lash couture foaming collection and kiss saw that video and they actually wanted to work with me after seeing that video so I am working with kiss in this video so that is super exciting so thank you so much kiss for working with me in this video because it is seriously a dream come true to work with a lash company like that is so exciting for me because you guys know I wear lashes like every day so the lashes that I am wearing today are from the Kiss Lash Couture Foaming Collection. So basically these lashes are like exactly what it sounds like. I'm using foam mink lashes but they don't actually have mink in it. So it's actually made with human hair mixed with synthetic hair and like lash material to create a luscious and soft and a really natural, gorgeous, glam look. So I just want to quickly touch on a few things about these lashes. A really cool thing about them is that the lash band, they're not free which is literally like everything and also having the lash band the way it is it almost looks invisible so it's like a natural look so these also come in a bunch of different styles um i used a little black dress which is currently on my eyes right now but there's also a bunch of different lengths and curls and widths and fullness also another really cool thing is if you guys can tell they have a naturally tapered end to create a more natural look on the lash so on your eye it's gonna not look like oh my god you're wearing fake lashes it's just gonna look really natural like what I have on right now. They also have a really weightless feel to them, so they're really comfortable on the eye. And I know I also always get questions about my lashes, like do I reuse them and stuff? And yes, I always reuse my lashes, and these can re be reused up to 10 times, which is so dope, because each of these retail for $5.99, so if you can use a $5.99 lash 10 times, you're seriously saving so much money. I got mine at Walmart, Walgreens, and Rite Aid. They all sell these. Also, something really cool that just came out that I wanted to tell you guys about is they actually came out with an app where you can like try on different styles of Kiss Lashes. You can try on 50 different styles, and if you guys really like how they look on your eye, um, you guys can actually purchase them online like through the app, so that's really cool. The app is called the Kiss Lash Wardrobe app if you guys are into it. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly like touch about these lashes because it's really cool and I just want to thank Kiss again for working with me because you guys know that I seriously wear lashes all the time. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel because I upload new content literally all the time. I uploaded like five videos this past week and I have so much more coming out next week and the week after that and just like forever and ever and ever. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down there, join the fam, ask anyone. We are a big, loving, happy fam. We love everyone here so be sure to subscribe, join the fam bam. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So prepping for the skin is just as important for the skin to have a good base. So I'm first gonna start off with the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. And then while that is setting in, I like to go in with my primer and this is the First Aid Beauty Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. And this I pretty much just put around my T-zone. Then while this is still like kind of tacky on my skin, I go in with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. You can take a setting spray, Fix Plus, whatever you have. And you kind of just like drown yourself real quick. Just like a light drowning, you know, nothing too dramatic. For my foundation, it's always like, do I go flawless coverage? Do I go like not flawless coverage? So for me, whenever I'm doing like a light slay kind of look and I want to look really put together but not take a lot of time, I think a full coverage look is the way to go. So I'm gonna mix two products. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear with the Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops. This is in the shade Sunlit, and this is just going to add a little bit of glow to my foundation. I always go a little darker in my foundation just because I like to have a tan, um, but obviously I'm not always self-tanned, so I kind of always go a little darker with my foundation. Ooh, girl, I am glowy today. I'm going to add a little tiny bit of concealer just to brighten everything up. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in Light Medium. I'm just gonna swipe it under my eyes and where I wanna highlight. It's just a really light swipe, nothing crazy. And all I'm gonna do is set my under eyes with the powder. It's the RCMA No Color Powder. 
And then before I go in and dust off the excess, I press it into my skin kind of for a long time. I really let the powder just melt in there. It's going to make sure that my makeup lasts all day. And it also just adds a little bit more coverage to the look. It just makes the concealer look a more a bit more flawless in my opinion. So I just like to spend time really pressing it into my skin. But before I continue, I'm just going to go in with a cream bronzer. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel. Any cream bronzer. The Dula Hula is really, really nice. So I'm just going to put this where I would bronze. I think cream bronzers look a little bit more natural. And sometimes I prefer them more than powder bronzers. Especially on looks like this where I'm kind of just like going. Then I just take a big powder brush and I kind of just buff over my entire face. This is going to wipe away excess bake powder, but it also is going to kind of just set everything in place. But I'm not using a powder. It's just sort of buffing everything into one another, blending it, making it look flawless natural. Then I'm going to go in with some highlight. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit in the shade uh, let's do Starburst and Crushed Pearl. I'm going to mix those two. And I'm just popping this right on my cheekbones. Now I'm going to move on to lashes and of course you guys know me, falsies are the way to go. Um, they're going to make your eyes look so open and awake and like it, it's going to make it look like you spent a lot of time on your makeup. It's going to look better than mascara and it, it takes the same amount of time. If you were to spend like a lot of time on your mascara, it would take the same amount of time to put on lashes. So I say go for the lashes. It's going to look better in the long run um, and it's just it's the way to go. Alright, so the lashes today that I'm going to be using, I can't decide between one of these two pairs. It's the... Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection, and these are the two that I'm deciding between. It's either the Little Black Dress or the Boudoir. So the lashes that I chose were the Little Black Dress lashes. Alright, so in order to prep the lashes, first thing we're going to do is put on a little bit of mascara. This is just so that your natural lashes will blend a little bit better with the fake lashes, just so that they're both black and you don't really see a separation, but you don't have to spend much time at all on your real lashes. All right, so when it comes to applying these, you wanna put some glue on. Kiss also sells a really good lash glue. It's the Kiss Lash Couture Strip Lash Adhesive. That one's really good because it's a really strong hold and it's gentle so, so it won't like rip off your eye at the end of the day, which is really good. Um, and it has biotin and blueberry extract, which will ensure that it has a nice long hold. And it's also available in clear and black. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm just, putting on the clear one right now and also it has a brush tip applicator which makes it really easy so you don't have to like squeeze it out and stuff um, but yeah I'm just using this and applying it on my lash band you don't want too much like that's probably enough oh and the glue by the way is $5.99 and you can get it out of Walgreens um, one thing that I do like to mention though with lash glues is make sure that it doesn't irritate your eye um, it's really annoying if your eye is like hurting all day from your lash glue because that's just kind of defeating the whole purpose of lashes the Kiss one does not irritate my eyes at all, which is why I like to use it. Alright, so when the lash is ready, I like to put it on the center of my eye. Making sure that it's facing up. And then I like to take the outer corner. And position that. Still flipping the lash up the whole time because you want your lashes to be facing up and not like directly out. And then I take the inner corner and put it into place. It's always easier if you go from outer corner to inner corner. Okay, yay. Now that the lash is on, let's blend them into my eye. So I like to take a black eyeliner. This one is by M Cosmetics. And I like to connect from where the band is to the inner corner of my eye. And then I also like to go underneath and tight line. See how much better that just looks? Just by connecting. And then I just like to go back in with my mascara. Put more on my natural lashes and more on the base of the falsies. 
just to blend them, but I'm making sure not to bring it all the way up onto the falsies. Um, I'm going to go back in with the highlighter that we used and my highlight brush I'm just going to take the lighter shade crushed pearl and put this right underneath my eyebrow to lift it up And then also right here on the inner corner And then last but not least is lips and I feel like I always sort of go for a nude but when I'm doing like a look where it's very light makeup having a darker not darker but like a more bold lip color, I think, looks a little more put together. So this is the, this isn't even that bold, but for me, it's like so not my huge. This is the Smashbox Always On Liquid Lipstick in Driver's Seat. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys all did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want to see. If you guys want to see my last video, that is right here. And also if you guys want to see the last real time get ready with me that I'm talking about, that is also up here as well. Thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.